Uh, looks like while I was editing uh, my new video, uh, Payday decided to announce at a live event who the two uh, additional heisters are for Payday 3. So we got uh, a returning character and a brand new character. Uh, the returning character being Joy and the new character being uh, a woman named Pearl. Joy was, uh, well, a bit of a surprise, to say the least. I never expected Joy to be returning, but it's, uh, it's all right, I guess. I was betting, personally, on Houston or Dragon, but, uh, it's, I'm, I'm not torn up about, uh, about Joy and Pearl instead of, uh, Houston or Dragon. I think that if Starbreeze plays their cards right, we could actually get a pretty cool uh, story with the characters that we have. You know, Joy being the, the youngest of the crew and being the closest associated to Locke probably has, you know, the biggest axe to grind about number one, losing Locke, that being the priority, and number two, losing whatever money she made in the year that she worked for the gang. Pearl, on the other hand, sounds like a very interesting character and has a sort of backstory and skill set that is centered around the the New York scene. You know, the 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 whining, the dining, the stealing. It it sounds like, at least to me, if you were writing a narrative of the gang sort of getting back in the saddle and you know, reestablishing themselves, I'd say Pearl probably would be the best person to sort of, you know, ease them into how things are run in New York in 2023. Uh, Design-wise, I'd say I really like how, uh, I really like Joy's redesign, keeping with her color scheme from Payday 2 and sort of moving it into uh, a more sort of laid back not laid back but a uh, more sort of proper professional uh, business business casual look with the with the coat and the and the and the jewelry uh i pr i like her face so far i've seen a few people say that she looks a bit off i think she looks fine she looks to be a woman in her 27 28 her late 20s that she's posted because it's only five years on from when she joined the crew and she was 22 then and uh when it comes to pearl pearl i really like uh, i really like the outfits on both of them just sort of like how they sort of keep their sort of how they both sort of keep their professional uh woman you know designs but you know in two different directions where joy is more uh more business and Pearl is more sort of leisure, more party uh, oriented, I guess. At least that's the vibe I'm getting. Uh, mask wise on both of them, I think Joy's mask with the slight redesign, uh, I think it's good. I, I've, I've always thought Joy's mask is uh, wonderfully designed. They, they changed the eyes a bit compared to Payday 2 and of course has the, the back straps that uh, match everyone else in Payday 3. Pearl, on the other hand, I don't entirely get. It's it's basically confirmed now that, yes, one of the white masks, uh, I can't remember what it was called, but it's in the customization. Uh, uh, yep, that uh, the the white clown mask was, it's it's Pearl's, it's uh, Pearl Begins, or whatever you want to call it. But uh, I think for a character, it's like may maybe it matches her personality, because we, we, we haven't heard anything from her, or who's voice acting her. But I think maybe it matches her personality a bit more. But as it is right now, I think it. I don't. I don't I'm not entirely a hundred percent on it. I would. I wouldn't have expected. You know, the green. Uh, the green shadow. I guess the green eye shadow, and the red nose. May maybe. You know, maybe keep the red nose, but we want. But how about purple? I don't know. Just a. Uh, just something I thought of. But uh, it's official. And, uh, it maybe it'll grow on me, but I think both their, I think both their designs are really good. I would be interested to see if 
they can wear all the same outfits as the guys. Uh, they probably can. I just think it'd be a, a funny sight to see, you know, Joy or Pearl in the Ned Flanders get up. But more interestingly, I'm wondering, you know, what customization do we get for them? Because they're wearing, well, well, they're wearing distinctly women's clothes. And I know Joy's original outfit is in there, but what other outfits will there be for uh, for Pearl or for Joy? So that that's just something that came to the, the top of my head. Yeah, it's just a thought I had. But while I'm at it, I might as well talk about the, the changes to the Core Fours faces that was talked about in the new Dev Diary. I think that we're getting, or I say we, I think Starbreeze is getting closer to what is a good, you know, mix between Payday the Highest, Payday 2, two Payday 3, but I still think that there's some um, adjustments that uh, need to be made. I think out of the four, Chains looks the best. I think uh, next that the, the next closest would be Wolf, but even at that, I still have problems with I have problems with the Wolf, Dallas, and Hoxton. Wolf is closer to sort of more continuity between his faces in game. Dallas and Hoxton still look too young. Dallas in Payday 3 should be in his mid 50s and Hoxton should be in his early 40s. And they just don't look that with these face models. And Wolf, for the most part, has. He's been blonde, and in the photos of the new faces and videos we've seen, it looks like he has more like black hair instead of the. like the, the light brown hair that he normally has. So if I had to give my two cents on what I would do it to change. Uh, Hoxton, Dallas, and Wolf for the better, I'd say. Make make Wolf have blo give Wolf the the light brown hair that he normally has instead of the black that that he has in the devlog. Have Dallas have more gray hair and then have Hoxton just look older. But uh yeah, that's that's basically enough of me rambling. Uh the new video will be out probably by the time this one is out, so go ahead and watch that one. I put a lot more effort into that one than I, ha I had this one. This was just my, my thoughts on the on the new heisters. Uh, I may be wrong about Houston and Dragon, but I, I'd still I'd still bet that they they'll be here within well in less than a year I'd say. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, bell, typical things. I gotta get back to my other video now. See you guys.